Today we are taking a look at the 3M mop and broom holder. There are no tools required, no nails, no screws or hammers needed. It's strong and versatile. It can hold on to paint wood and leave no holes or sticky residue and removes from those surfaces clearly with no mark. Here is the 3M mop and broom holder. I went through a ton of Amazon reviews and a lot of people are not only using it for the mop and broom holder, but a lot of people are using it for a lot of different things. Some people are saying that they use it to hold their hair dryers, their hair curlers. Some people are using it as a flagpole holder. And a lot of people are saying that they're using it to hold their curtain rods up. Let's go ahead and test out what it was intended for holding mop and brooms. We're gonna take this ordinary broom and put on the 3M mop and broom holder. Now it's super easy. All you have to do is grab it and you just push it on and you'll notice that this little rubber grommet right here just slides right in and it actually holds it pretty firm because I'm pushing up on it and pulling down. You can see that it locks it really, really, really well. Let's go ahead and try out a different style broom. A lot of the reviews that came up with the 3 and mopping broom holder is that it's missing some of the command strips and I can see why they say that because when you look at the package, it looks like it comes with two sets of command strips. But once you open up the package, what it really does is it comes with one instead of two. So I feel like that's why people are thinking that it's missing one because looks can be deceiving and it's really just one set instead of two. I also want you to notate that right here, it says that this can hold only four pounds. We're gonna circle back to that later on in the video and let you know why this is a big deal. So we just have this nice small little hand dustpan and broom and we're gonna go ahead and try it out. Now this does have two bars to it. So I'm kind of wondering how it's gonna stick. So let's go ahead and try it out. I don't know if it's gonna fit or not. Okay, so. It holds it, but it's not as tight because there's two of them. So it's only gonna hold on to one, but the metal on here is so tiny. It's gonna hold it, but it's not gonna be super tight like this because there is a difference in the thickness of the poles, but it'll definitely hold it. Now that we know that this thing can hold mop and brooms really well, let's go ahead and up the ante and test some heavier stuff. So let's grab some shovels and things like that and see if this can not only work on the inside, but if it can work on the outside and hold things like that. As I mentioned before, these will work for rakes, shovels, some of your outside gardening things just like this. It's the same thing. You just put it in here, figure out where it's going to hold the best and you push it in and you are good to go and you walk away from it. And now if you ever decide you want to move where these are located instead of drilling holes and stuff, you just take this, put some new command strips, plop it on the wall and you're good to go. And also just regular garden rakes, same thing applies. Put it on here and you're good until next gardening session comes along, which is most likely next week. Now, like I've done with the other 3M products before, I always like to test the weight capacity of it. With the other 3M video that I did, I put up to 25 pounds and it was only supposed to hold 16 pounds, held it for like 10 or 15 minutes. Now this particular one only holds four pounds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start adding some weights onto it until it falls off so we can really kind of judge how much it can hold and tolerate. Let's go ahead and get to that right now. Now we're gonna go ahead and test and see how much this really can hold. Per the package, this can hold up to only four pounds. This is way, way, way less than four pounds. So I'm gonna take this 2.5 pound weight. We're gonna put it right here onto the bottom of this broom, hang it on here, wait about five or 10 minutes, come back and see if this thing still stands. If you're enjoying the content so far, there's two things you can do to help the channel. One is by smashing that like button. The other is going to check out my clothing brand, Even Vibes. There's a lot of cool t-shirts, hats, sweaters, mugs, all that great stuff. And if you at me on my Instagram link, so be down below, I will give you a shout out. Let's get back to the video. All right, so the 2.5 pounds held up really well. I'm gonna be a little ambitious now and I'm gonna go ahead and just put this five pounder on. It's gonna be one pound over what it says it can do. Hopefully I'll hold it for five minutes. We'll come back and take a look. Let's go ahead and put this on and see how it does. Some of the reviews that I read on Amazon said that they use this to hold their Swiffer mop. And one thing that I'm curious is how they get this to stay on the wall properly. And let me show you what I mean by that. Because the trigger is right here and it sticks on the wall, it doesn't allow you to push on this to get it to lock. Because of the way that this is shaped in the front, it also hits the wall and it doesn't allow you to let it lock in place. After a few different attempts, I figure out there is kind of a way to hold it. Now, I don't know if you can trust it or not, but here's some other ways. What you do is you put this up way up high, 
almost towards the bottom of this. And if you lock it in, see it's, it's holding it. Again, I don't know how long it's gonna hold for, or it might stay like that. Or the other thing, what I did is now you can kind of hold it like this, put this flat, turn it sideways. Again, it is holding on here. It's more flush than it was before. Now, will it hold and stay that way? Or is it gonna fall off? I have no idea. But if you feel comfortable with this, by all means, go ahead and do it. I personally don't feel comfortable with it. But again, it's up to you. Not all the command strips come with the same weight limit. There are different ones. So for example, these ones that came with the mop and broom holder come and can only hold up to four pounds. Now there's a different set of command strips, these ones, and they can hold up to six pounds. And there's also a set of command strips that can hold up to 16 pounds. Now the difference with these is these are just flat sticky backs, nothing great to them. But what I like about these command strips is they have this little interlocking mechanism. And when you squeeze it together, you hear that crunch. Now what that means is they're kind of intertwined, locked together, which helps it hold more weight. And if you pull them apart, it is not going to separate. So if the four pounds is not good enough for you for this mop and broom holder, and you want to put some heavier items on it, what you can do is opt and get these heavier duty ones that can hold up six and 12 pounds. Now let's go check on that weight and see if it's holding up still. Okay. So it's been five minutes. We have the five pounder on there and it is holding strong. Now that we know that the three and mop and broom holder works really well, we're going to go ahead and test out some of those weird Amazon reviews. So we're going to go ahead and start off with some of the hair curlers and the blow dryers and see how that works. As I mentioned before, some of the reviews said that you can put your hair curlers on here as well. Now, first of all, I don't recommend if you're gonna do it, make sure these are cooled down because you do not want to burn anything, but because a lot of people said they do it, let's go ahead and try it. So this is gonna be right here and it actually sets up there nicely. And now we're gonna see if we can get the same results with this blow dryer. I uh, gotta figure out how I'm gonna put this one on. What? No, no. So it's on there. Is it gonna stay? I don't know. I feel like it's it's on there awkward, and it depends on the kind of blow dryer that you have, if this will work or not. I mean, I can tug on it, and it seems like it's on there. Again, I don't know. So it might be blow dryer preferent, but hey, if again, if you're in small places, apartments or whatever, and you only have so much room and you don't want to put nails and screws and holes in here, could be the option for you. As you can see, the three and mop and broom holder does exactly what it says and some more. Now, a lot of people do get creative with it and that's completely up to you. If you are looking for something heavier to hold, again, look into those command strips that have the heavier weight capacity. I go through that in this video right here with command strips, they're heavy duty ones. I use it to hang a lot of picture frames, all types of other stuff. You want to check this video out, especially if you're looking for other 3M command strips, or if you live in a small place and you just don't want to put hammers, nails, and screws, definitely check out this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.